Local support for new civics has been provided by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV. Hi! We're the sixth grade class of Hilltop Elementary! Oh, the Hilltop Cats! Welcome to New Casey Barber from Hilltop Elementary School. Welcome to News 6. With today's first story, here's Nikki Beck. For our first story today, News 6 visited the members of the Silver Dollar Band. Here's Samantha Smith with the story. Hi, Kevin Burnett from the Silver Dollar Band. Hi. Kevin, can you tell me how the band got its name? One of the first members in the band uh, give the band the name Silver Dollar Band, and uh, that's what it's been ever since. He was just playing country. Do you play any other music besides country? We do rock and roll, uh, top 40 country, some old country, and uh, we also do polkas and squares. Uh, so we have a wide range of music that we do. Can you introduce your family to me, Kevin? On my right is uh, Mrs. Viv Reed. On my left, Mrs. Karen Brown, playing bass guitar. Mr. Tim Creek, playing steel guitar. Uh, Mr. Jack Reed, and I play guitar, lead in rhythm, and also sing. Kevin, would you like to play us another song? Because we really enjoyed that last one. We'd be glad to, Samantha. <laughs> Thanks for the song, Kevin, and good luck to you and the band. Thank you, Samantha. We're glad to be here. Back to the station. Today's News 6 is produced by the 6th grade class of Hilltop Elementary School in West Unity, West Unity located 10 miles northwest of Bryan, Ohio, and has a population of about 1,658. For our next story today, we stopped by Westfall Realty and Auctions and learned about being an auctioneer. 25, now 30, 35, now 40, 40, dollar, now 5, higher than 45, now 50, 50, now 50, now 5, higher than 50, 50, now 50, 60, dollar, now 60, dollar, now 5, higher than 65, all in, all done, now or never down, she goes, sold right there, you bought them, 65. Thanks, Dan. I'm Josh Hicks. I'm here with Ben and Bart Westfall. They are auctioneers. Ben, how did you become an auctioneer? Oh, I attended a special school for auctioneering in uh, Mason City, Iowa back in 1961. Uh, and uh, then uh, you practice an awful lot. Uh, it, uh, it isn't the uh, problem of talking so fast as to speak in a, in a chant uh, that is understandable by the audience. Okay, the auction method is uh, you're actually you're asking for a bid, an advancement in the bid. You start low and you build the bidding up until you come to what is what we refer to as market value. So by doing that, you use a chance system. And usually you start uh, at uh, a lower figure and you're building up and you're using filler words between the number that you have and the number that you want, such as, I am bid one, would you give me two? You're at ben, you're here with your son. Bart, can you tell me how you got started? I started when I was probably about your size, hauling out uh, things out of the sale, out of the home, setting up the sales, and just progressed from there and, and gradually uh, obtained an interest in the business and went to school. Matter of fact, the same school that Ben went to exactly 20 years later. You bid one, would you give me two? I got two. Would you give me two? Would you give me two? Yes, give me two. Would you give me three? Would you give me three? 
I have been one. Would you give me two? Two, would you give me two? Yes, you give me two. Would you give me three? Got two. Would you give me three? Would you give me three? Got three. Sold. Thanks for teaching some of the students the auction chant, and thanks for having us here. Oh, you're entirely welcome. Anytime. You're welcome. Back to the studio. Throughout our early years in school, there are always certain teachers who truly inspire us. Today's Kids View Question discovers which teachers at Hilltop Elementary School are among the favorites. Hi, my name is John Grain. Today's Kid View Question is, who is your favorite teacher and why? My favorite teacher is Mr. Hamilton because he lets us do science experiments. My favorite teacher is Ms. Avalier. She was my third grade teacher. I had fun in her class. My favorite teacher is Polly Weaver because she teaches social studies. I like social studies. My favorite teacher is Sue Kratzer, a kindergarten teacher because she never gave any homework. For our last story today, News 6 spoke with Carlton Felger where we watched the daily routine at a local sawmill. Here's Dusty Bickham with the story. Thank you, Shonda. Hi, I'm Dustin Bickham, and I'm interviewing Carlton Felger. He runs a sawmill. Carlton, um, by trade you're a farmer, what got you into the sawmill business? Well, this mill uh, came to us more or less as a memorial. The uh, purchase of it was made before the man died and arrangements were made. And so after he was gone, uh, the request in the neighborhood was just to get this mill out and to help the farmers around here when they had to have gates and things made. And uh, because the other mills around are contract mills, uh, they won't accept little small jobs, a log or two or three or four. So we do what they want the way they want it done. It's handy for them. Carlton, how's the sawmill run? Is it run by gas or electric? This saw originally was powered with a steam engine but when we moved it from Mr. Blaker's and it was completely rebuilt here in our shop then we powered it with a six-cylinder Chrysler engine. Is this sawmill dangerous Mr. Fogger? No that's something that we're very proud of. We haven't uh, had any accidents to speak of and we don't want any. Mr. Fogger, can you tell me what the blade's made of? This saw is a precise piece of material it's expensive. It's a saw that is hardened twice, tempered and hardened twice before it is cut in the mill. And it has to operate within a very small tolerance. Mr. Felger, a lot of forests are getting cut down. Do you think it's important to save trees and plant more? I hope that trees are replanted as fast as they're taken down. Thank you, Mr. Felger, for letting us come to your sawmill and learn about all this stuff. I'm glad you could come. Bring your classmates so that you know what happens inside a sawmill. Thank you for joining us today. Tune in next time when Columbus Grove Elementary School visits New Six. Have a great day. support for News 6 has been provided by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV.